Welcome to Catalan's Zydus facility located here in Swindon, Wiltshire, approximately 65 miles due west from London Heathrow. My name is Peter Allen. I'm the general manager of this facility. Here in Swindon, we manufacture Catalan's unique uh, lyophilized orally dissolvable technology um, called Zydus, and we produce approximately 1.2 billion doses per annum. What I'd like to do now is to invite you to come into the facility to have a tour. Originally built in 1982 for soft gel manufacture, the site began producing Zydus ODT in 1993. Today, the site exclusively manufactures Catalan's portfolio of Zydus orally disintegrating tablets and encompasses over 173,000 square feet. The facility employs four shifts and continuously operates 24-7. Up the stairs from the visitor entrance lies the offices and the canteen. Beyond these and down the corridor are the visitor changing rooms for access to the manufacturing suites. Visitors have separate changing rooms and PPE requirements relative to those for operators. Strict gowning procedures are employed at Swindon to ensure the safety and integrity of the pharmaceutical products, as well as to comply with or exceed regulatory standards. Catalan Swindon site maintains regulatory approvals with a number of global agencies and is routinely audited with an exemplary record. Down the stairs is the staging area, where excipients and raw materials are received from the warehouse and prepped for use in production. Each batch is held and staged separately. The site has 12 mixing rooms where excipients and API are combined. The mixture is kept at a controlled temperature and is continuously stirred to prevent API separation. In the eastern portion of the facility are housed seven standard ODT production lines and a dedicated development line. The process begins by cold forming the aluminium blister trays. Tablet embossing can be customized at this point. A specific quantity of liquid drug product is wet dosed into each well. Samples are taken throughout the batch to ensure that product weights are within specifications. Blister trays are cut into manageable lengths for processing, then passed through a deionizer. In the freeze tunnel, the blister trays are treated with a liquid nitrogen mist at negative 130 to negative 140 Celsius, after which the liquid in each well is completely frozen. Mobile freezer cabinets are used to convey the frozen trays to the freeze dryers. Each is equipped with a set of three probes to digitally track internal temperatures. The freeze drying or lyophilization process is unique for each product with optimal freeze-dry cycle parameters determined during each product's prior development phase. Once the freeze dryers are cooled to around negative 25 degrees Celsius, blister trays can be loaded to begin the drying process. Each production line has a minimum of two freeze dryers, and the temperature, humidity and pressure of each manufacturing room is tightly controlled. After the lyophilization step, dispersion tests are carried out to ensure tablet performance. Blister trays are inspected visually and with a specialized camera. The fully dried trays enter the sealing machine where the lidding film is applied. Perforations are applied and individual blister packs are cut from the larger trays. The blister packs are sorted into separate lanes in preparation for packing while optical sensors ensure the accuracy of critical printed data. 
The blister packs are loaded into cardboard packing chutes called magazines. The magazines are then individually labeled. The site has two additional high-speed lines for large volume production requirements. The high-speed nozzles are capable of delivering 40 doses simultaneously. These lines utilize auto feeders to ensure that the previously frozen and now fully dried trays are placed in the precise location for sealing. The lidding film is applied and blisters are cut from the larger trays in preparation for packing. For Zydus Ultra, a sieve is first used to isolate the desired API fraction. The API particles are then encased with a taste masking agent through a process called acoustic coating, shown here in clinical scale. For commercial scale manufacture of Zydus Ultra, the process occurs in a similar fashion, but with a much larger vessel and the help of a robotic lifter. A temperature probe is used to monitor the acoustic coating process and ensure that the API is maintained within defined parameters. The product is then sent to the extruder and prepped for dosing and freeze drying. In the formulation development laboratory, experimental batches are generated to evaluate the feasibility of new products and optimize formulations at bench scale for downstream scale-up. The Analytical Development Lab supports testing of formulation work, clinical materials, and scale-up activities. The Microbiology Lab supports both the analytical development work as well as the manufacturing operations. This lab focuses on final product, environmental and in-process testing to ensure that quality specifications are met. The Chemistry Lab focuses on raw material and final product quality testing, as well as stability and validation testing to support regulatory commitments and manufacturing operations. For additional information on the site, capabilities or capacity, reach out to your local representative or click the Contact Us link at catalant.com.